and, and this particular time, I do this one in Southampton with Tommy Wisby and, and Billy Hart and we dropped a, a buster and we had it really, really good. We, we stayed overnight, we, we had a little lodging there, we stayed over and went to work early in the morning, you know, and uh, before the, 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 the high street opened up. So we thought we'd get in quick and get, and get home. Anyway, uh, we, we, this is what we did. We did this, cleared it out. Now, when you're walking across the pavement, you uh, can't have gloves on. It looks sussy, doesn't it? You can't wear turtles on as you're walking across the pavement. People say, well, it's got gloves on. Uh, they all got gloves on walking out with gear, you know. You bring it on yourself, don't you? So you had to handle the stuff when you brought it out. But, and then give it a good wipe down when you got it on, you know. But so, as we come out, so everything get in the van, lock up the van, get on the way. I've got a Zephyr as well for, as a might, you know, another car a Zephyr, which is ring out obviously. And uh, all of a sudden, comes up the side of me, which we shouting out, hey, stop, 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 stop. What's about it? It's that deck of Radio Graham, I never, I've left it inside the door, by the store, and I've never pulled it out. Got me dabs all over it, you know. I said, oh, fuck it, the whole time, you know. Oh, I said, come and bust. So me and Buster take this out for He get climbs up with Billy Hart in, in the in the van, and they carry on. Take your time, and we will catch you up. You know, we will go back get it. Now we got we got to undo it, but the yell's still on like that. So we unlock the door, and then at the go bang with the screwdriver. Uh, pick this fucking thing up and pull it shut again, lock it up, walk round the corner and load it up and go and catch you it. Have it. We went down there and said, got it, got it. Oh, I caught him up on the way back, you know. So he goes round there with my van, with all the gear in it, to see his father. Instead of going and delivering the fucking gear and doing, then going to see his father, he's got all the gear in the back. And he and he's talking to his father. He get, they get raided with the old Bill. Whose van's this? Oh, it's registered to me. They're knocking my fucking street door down in the next morning, aren't they? Knocking on the door, bang! I said, "Hold it! It's old. It's the old Bill and a fucking bang through the." I, I, I gone out the back, went out the back, over the back gardens, went all over the back to the next, the next street where the, the, an old uh, uh, Armstrong Sib, Sibley, what big old car it was, what they use in funerals and yeah, everything, yeah. I mean, went cheap at the sale and I bought it fucking for next to nothing. I get in it and I think, where, where can I fucking go now? And, you know, I can't go back home, I've got to go somewhere off, off the manor. Because Car Street niggas and what on top yeah. of the road. So I fuck it. I know, I go over to see Charlie. I went I drove over to East End to see Charlie. And he said, Oh fuck me, Fred. He said, you gotta keep out of the way then, aren't you? He said, for a little well. while. I said, yeah. I said, well Wisby's gotta be nicked. I don't know if, if uh, anyone else nicked. But anyway, he said, uh, well Ronnie's got a flat here, he said just opposite the Blind Beggars, it was a little row of, of uh, little Jewish little block of flats. And he said, he's got a one bedroom flat, they do you for us? Yeah, that, anything I do, I said, you know. So of course, as I went and moved into this little flat uh, where he used to stay when he was on his toes from the Epson thing, you yeah, know. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it was nothing in there really, it was just, you know, she, she little flat. But it had everything that I needed, you know. And had a little toilet out on a balcony there, and a, the kitchen, and one bedroom, and a front room. And, uh, and that's where I fucking, I'd, I'd settled down. I got my wife over, the kids left school, they was in, in a nice school over in South London. And I got them over there, they went to school there, the two boys. And uh, Danny wasn't born then. Uh, my daughter wasn't born then. And uh, we just set, we set up home there, put them in school over there, and I, I was there for, well, about, I suppose a year, I suppose, in East End, and I, that's how I got to know the twins.